This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. The lesson I'm on is for loops with B and then Puzzle 2. Write the code to help the bee collect all the nectar. You will need a lots of blocks for this challenge, but we'll learn easier ways in the next puzzle. Okay, and so we have one block here out of 18 we're supposed to use. Yikes, and it says we're going to use a lot. So before putting a loop, I'm just going to start by looking at what it would be. Oh, look at this. One, two, three, four. So it changes each time. Okay. So first I want to move forward and then get nectar. Then I'm going to want to move forward and well get nectar twice. So I'm going to look at this code and then figure out how to use a loop. Then I'm going to move forward. Do, can we use a variable? We can. Huh. Okay. Well, in the last one here, let's move forward again. And then get nectar three times. So in the last lesson, lesson, or the lesson before that, we were using variables a lot. So let's see here. Actions, get nectar, one, two, three. So, yeah. Okay, this will get the first one, right? The first few. But if we use what we learned from the last lesson, I already know a better way. From the last lesson, we learned about variables. And so if I set I to, or let's rename it um, to, I don't know, collect is going to be the name of my variable. Right, so now this is a word, and what do I want that word to equal? Well, let's start at 1. Okay, and then what we were doing in the last lesson, I'm going to, well, I'll leave that for now. Let's go ahead and use a loop. Repeat how many times? Well, repeat 5 times, right? Because we want to go all the way up to 5. So, math, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. So repeat five times. What do we want to do? Oh. We need another repeat. And then how many times will this repeat run? We always are only going to move forward once. I'm getting rid of this now. We're going to get nectar, though, one, two times, now three times, four, five, four times, and then five times. So we want to control how much nectar we get with our variable. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Our, our variable, which is collect. Collect, we said, equal to one. Now we want to collect, repeat collect time. So this really says repeat collect the computers like uh once. Okay, so I'm going to get nectar once. Hits the bottom, goes back up, and now once again. All right? So until they it fulfills the number. What we learned in the last lesson was we can set it to equal collect variable collect plus one. So what this should do now, let me reset it, is first collect is set equal to one. We then hit our loop, okay, do this five times, and we move forward. Now we're in our repeat collect times. Well, the computer says, okay, what's collect? Oh, it's one. So one time, zoop, I'm gonna do get nectar. Now I finished doing that one time, it hit this and said collect equals collect plus one, Okay, so collect has a new value. It's what? Collect. Oh, well, what's collect equal to? One. One plus one is two. So now collect's value is two. Hit this, and now it's the second time through when we move forward. Repeat collect times. Well, collect's now equal to two. So we get nectar once and twice. Then we hit this. Collect now equals what collect used to equal, which is two plus one. So now collect's three. We hit our loop, and we move forward again. And then we're going to collect how many? Once, twice, three times, because collects equal to three. Let's run the whole thing. And we're using knowledge from the last lesson about variables.
Ba-da! Awesome, we did in far less code. Let's uh, keep going.